Hey there, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Just sitting here enjoying some good old Rob Dom videos. I don't know if you guys watch him or not, but if you don't, you should. This guy's a rotary maniac. Makes all sorts of crazy stuff. But anyway, I'm sitting inside today. I'm bored. I'm trying to figure out what I can do. And over the last couple of days, I've been driving uh, 45 minutes to and from a job. And uh, I've been seeing the boost climbing up and it just doesn't feel like the car is going as hard as it should be, like acceleration wise. It feels like I'm losing a lot of air pressure, well, boost pressure. So I went out today and decided, you know, what the hell, I've seen the write-ups before and I'm gonna give it a shot and show you guys. I'm gonna make myself a homemade boost leak tester for under 25 bucks. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for this one real fast. It's gonna be a short and sweet video, which is a nice change. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to start putting one together here and I'm going to show you everything that you need. Okay, so here we are. We've got our drill. We've got a bit. We've got a cheapo 30-pound PSI gauge. Uh, I think it's quarter NPT. And we've also got a quarter NPT tire valve, which was like two bucks. And that's uh, some Harbor Freight stuff, I think. We've got some tape. An extra worm clamp we've got a two inch to two inch inner and outer um, it's for PVC to what, what was it PVC to like a metal pipe I guess but you can see that the sizes are different and this is going to be for the inlet of the turbo on the compressor and we've also got ourselves a big PVC plug which fits directly inside so what we're going to do here is we're going to take our drill we're gonna drill a hole here, we're gonna drill a hole here, and last but not least, we're going to take our cheapo Pittsburgh little tap, uh, tap and die set here, and we're gonna tap threads into either side of this, well, both sides, and we're gonna screw in our gauge and our tire valve into this, and get it all taped up, get it all put together, and uh, that's gonna be that. So I'm gonna show you guys what you gotta do here. All right, so first step is first, we're gonna take our PVC plug and we have to figure out where we wanna put our gauge so that we can read it and you know see if the pressure drops at all. And we, on the opposing side, we're gonna stick our tire valve. I gotta pull that tag off of there. So we have to keep in mind that the inner diameter of this is a, a little bit tighter than the outer diameter of this shape here. So. We're going to want to go about a quarter inch in from the edge and that's where we're going to put our first mark and do the same on the opposing side and we're going to start drilling our holes. We're going to start with a pilot hole and we're going to bring it up as close as your drill bit set will get you to this diameter of these quarter inch MPT fittings and once we get it close we're going to start tapping them. All right, uh, admittingly, a workbench and a clamp would be very nice to have right now, but all I've got is a little TV dinner table right now. So uh, this is what you end up with. You get your couple of holes, make sure that they're as close as you can get them to the size of your threads, your NPT fittings here. Now what we're gonna do is take our tap. We're gonna tap this hole, we're gonna tap the one next to it, and then we are going to screw in each one of these fittings. So the uh, I don't I really don't like those Harbor Freight tap and dies. They are so cheap. I've used so much better ones. But anyway, this is what you get. You got your two threaded holes, and you gotta be careful because, like I told you earlier, 
The wall is pretty close on the inside, the outside's deceiving, and I almost was too far out to get that hole correct right there. But you're gonna end up with two threaded holes. Now we're gonna take this, we're gonna grab our gauge, and we're gonna put our gauge probably on the outside here. And then on the, on the other side, we're going to put our little valve. We're gonna put some, some Teflon tape on them, thread these in nice and tight. Once they're in there, we're gonna finish putting the rest of this thing together, and you're gonna have yourself a Boost League tester for under 25 bucks, mind you. All right, that was uh, kind of tough without a uh, bench vise or some real big channel locks. Uh, I did use a medium-sized pair of channel locks to hold on to the edge of this. Scarred up the lip a little bit, but don't worry, that's not gonna affect it. We've got our, our valve in, and we've also got our gauge sitting in here. So they went in nice on the bottom, nice and tight. Um, obviously, <laughs> I did crank that one into the edge just a wee bit, but don't worry about it it's still gonna function perfectly and for an added layer of security you can put some adhesive around these areas make sure that they uh, don't leak anything but I'm pretty sure that the uh, tape that I put on there should hold them nice and tight but anyway that's in as far as it's gonna go that's in nice and tight too these aren't going nowhere now it's on to the next step we're gonna take our big coupler and we're gonna put some tape around here here and then put this into the big coupler and we're basically finished. All right guys, after tightening down your clamp, you are all set. Now, all you do is you take your intake off your car, and you slide this puppy over the turbo compressor inlet, unscrew your little cap here, get yourself your air tank, your air compressor, whatever you're using. You fill it up about three to five pounds above what your target boost level is. So if you're aiming for 15 PSI, pump 18 into the tester here and see if it sits without leaking for about 10 minutes or so. Um, big leaks you're obviously going to notice quick and smaller leaks will take a little bit longer to, to notice but another good trick which I'm sure a lot of you guys know is to take yourself a squirt bottle with some soapy water some Dawn and some water and start spraying all your fittings and your connections on your intercooler piping spray around your throttle body and wait to see bubbles if you see bubbles you know you got a leak and I personally I built this because I know I have a leak I know I have a pretty sufficient one and I've already figured out where I think it is. Uh, it's none of the charge pipes. It's actually the seal between the throttle body and the intake manifold and the uh, throttle seals on the shaft. The uh, shaft seals are also pretty beat up and old looking and I can hear air whistle out of them when I put a little bit of pressure on them. So, uh, yeah, well, anyway guys, I'm gonna take this thing outside and I'm gonna plug it in and I'm gonna give it a test. But uh, now you guys know how to take a a few dollars worth of fittings I mean if you can get a cheaper air gauge and a cheaper fitting uh, tire pressure fitting or air pressure fitting right here Schrader valve uh, go for it I mean I spent I think six bucks on this I want to say it was two dollars for this little valve the cap was a buck the uh, fitting the uh, coupler here was the most expensive piece I think now the gauge is I can't remember. Anyways, I think mine honestly costs under 17 bucks, and that was because I looked between Ace Hardware and Harbor Freight, and I mean, this thing should work great for what it's designed for, and uh, it's pretty purpose-built. Now we don't have to go spend $50 or order one online and hope that it shows up because everything's crazy with shipping right now, so if you're looking to build one of these yourself, it's a really easy task. You just need a drill, a couple of basic tools, and the hardest part was getting the tap. The tap for uh, putting threads in the top of this cap but anyway guys I know it was an oddball video I know it was uh, pretty short 
But again, this is just another project I'm knocking out at home because I've got some time on my hands as most of us all do. But uh, yeah. Yeah, now you guys got yourself a uh, Boost League tester. Goes up to 30 pounds. Obviously, buy your your uh, gauge according to your boost level, whatever you're trying to aim for. And uh, I'm going to go outside and grab some soapy water and test this bad boy out for a little while. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And uh, as always, be safe, keep them hands clean, and we'll see you guys next time in today's project, guys. Thanks for watching.